What's up YouTube? It is time for the review of my Sony HDR AX2000. This is an awesome camera. It's three and a half thousand dollars but can actually compete with four, five, six and even seven thousand dollar cameras out there right now. This camera is the perfect size. It's big enough to where people will take you seriously when you're using it and it's small enough for you to be able to carry it around wherever you go and not be a hassle. This camera can be used for anything Anything from shooting a TV show, to filming news events around town, to home videos, even movies, or, like I've done sometimes, shooting a blog. First off, this camera records to cards instead of tape or, uh, you know, mini hard drive. It records to cards, I run 16 gigs, and the 16 gigs can go anywhere from 90 minutes to 7 hours of footage, depending on which settings, which quality you're recording on. This camera comes standard with a two hour battery, but me, I also got the Sony 18 hour battery, which uh, you plug it in, it comes out to here. But uh, the funny thing is this is Sony's 18 hour battery, that's what it's advertised. But on this camera, it only goes for about eight and a half, nine hours. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's still useful, like when you're going to a place like the auto show. When I went to the auto show, I used all of the two hour battery about uh, half the 18 hour battery. But I mean, if you're going someplace that's not gonna have electricity, like you're going on a three day camping trip, and this is all you're gonna need, these two batteries, you're not gonna be recording 24 seven. So, that should last you. It has dual XLR inputs, a very professional feature. You can plug in boom mics, lav mics, anything right into there. It has this awesome lens cover with the lens cap that just flips open and closed just like this. And uh, if you wanna clean the lens, Go ahead and take it off, it's that easy. Then you can just snap it right back on. Over here you got three focus rings. The first one is for your focus, and yes, this does do focus. Uh, it has a very professional looking focus. You can be far away and zoom in and get a nice focus. Or you could just have the camera really close to something, so if I had my hand like this, I could focus on my hand and have the background out of focus. You have the zoom ring right here. Then you got the iris for your brightness controls. This has a 20x zoom lens, which is pretty cool. I mean, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the cameras nowadays are dropping the zoom. They're going down to 10x. That sucks. So at least it has a semi-decent zoom on here. Got the Sony G lens. You got your focus controls, your ND filter, so if it's too bright. But I use the shutter speed. The higher the shutter speed, the darker the image gets, and the smoother. So when I'm shooting in really bright light, I uh, adjust the shutter speed all the way up. And then I just have a really smooth image. You got auto and manual mode. So if you're in auto mode, the camera takes care of everything. You just hit record and it's pretty much just like a camcorder. It controls everything for you. All you have to do is hit the record button. It just looks a lot better. Uh, manual mode, it'll look even more professional, but then you have to adjust you know, your brightness, shutter speed. It's not that hard. The thing is this camera is really simple to use. You could you know, pretty much figure it out yourself. Uh, you don't have to take a class or anything. Learn how to focus it, that should be really quick. Um, learn about the gain, the uh, brightness settings and everything. Then you look up here, and if you're carrying the camera low, you got a separate set of controls up here. You got a zoom and a record button up here, in addition to the zoom here, and the zoom here, where you hold the camera, and the record button. And under here you got your VCR options for your playback. And another great feature, this camera has a touch screen which is very useful. And here it has a nice little attachment where you can put a light, you can put a, you could even uh, put another microphone up here like you know you see on the news cams. So moving on to the features like smooth slow record. does is it records higher frames a second so it records 240 frames a second you know as opposed to 60 or 30 frames a second you know and then slowing it down on iMovie you know which gives it kind of that choppy look you know when you slow it down a lot so when you do slow motion it looks like a movie as opposed to you know something someone just edited on iMovie which I edit on it has image stabilization which I need to use more because uh, when I'm, when I'm recording events and stuff, a lot of my footage is a little shaky. I have to use some of that stabilization more often. This camera records in 480 24p, 480 30p, 
uh, 48060i, 1080-24p, um, and 1080-30p, and 1080-30, and 1080-60i. Yes, no 720, but I mean, who wants 720 uh, HD when you can get full HD? But I record most of my stuff in 1080-60p. Let's move on to the quality. This camera has great quality with a camcorder, something that only does auto mode. You know, when you're recording in, uh, you know, low light, dark situations, uh, you get a lot of grain and fuzz. For this, since it's a professional camera, uh, if your gain's not on, which, you know, makes the image brighter, you should have almost no grain. Uh, it should look like a nice crisp image. If the image is too dark, you're going to want to turn some of that gain up or adjust the shutter speed down and the image will get brighter without the, uh, without the grain. But it will look a little choppy during movement if you are recording with a low shutter speed. When you're recording in perfect lighting, everything's perfect. This camera looks like a professional $20,000 news camera, sports camera, even a Panavision movie camera. This camera has great quality, and like I said, in low light it holds up pretty well too. This has a 3 CMOS sensor, so it does pretty well in low light. Uh, picks it up pretty well, not much grain. But the thing is, I edit on iMovie. iMovie doesn't really take footage from a camera like this that well. So when I put it on iMovie, that does degrade the quality a little bit. And then when I put it from iMovie to YouTube, it degrades the quality even more. So the stuff you see of mine on YouTube with this camera doesn't look as good. So I'm starting to learn Final Cut Pro, um, you know, so, you know, to get really good at it so I can just, you know, hurry up and get in there and edit videos really quick and post it just like I'm able to do with iMovie. So there's a few things that this camera should have improved on. Uh, no night mode. This camera does not do night mode. Night mode is obviously very useful when you're doing, you know, a horror movie like, you know, a horror movie that you want to have a look like Quarantine or The Blair Witch Project or maybe even, you know, you're out in the woods with some friends and want to film. Home stuff but it's almost pitch black outside and you need that night mode to be able to see. This doesn't have it. If you if it's almost pitch black outside, um, you're gonna have to turn the shutter speed way down, turn the gain way up, and you're gonna have an image that looks like a cell phone. A lot of people are wondering how I got this. I said this in the last video where uh, I kinda gave the introduction to this camera. How did I afford this camera? Well, I chose to buy it over choosing a car. So I don't have a car, which kind of sucks. But that's the next big thing I'm saving up for. Actually, no, I can't save up for a car yet because I have to save up for a new computer so I can handle this footage. Right. But anyway, that is the Sony HDR AX2000. It is an awesome camera. Um, I use it. I use it for everything. I don't even use my old camcorder that much anymore. I use this for recording cool stuff around town. I bring it with me almost everywhere. I, I use it for recording short films. Like I said, I even use it for blogs. Like when I uh, when I went to Vegas with some friends, I used this to record blogs, and that's pretty fun. Uh, that's not fun. You know what? I'm gonna start using this to record my. Uh, talking videos because that's not cool see now the image has that ugly yellow piss color that's that's not cool anyway so uh boom so if you want to see some footage from this camera click some of the links in the description box I'm incorporating tons of footage I have uh, you know night shots you know, low light, you know, good light, bad light, you know, tons of, tons of videos uh, with this camera. Of course, I'm using iMovie, so, you know, it might degrade the quality a little bit, but it still looks good for the most part. So if you want to see what this shoots and, you know, what this looks like when you put it up on YouTube, click some of the links in the description box. Click some of those videos and give them a thumbs up. Anyway, I'm coming with tons of new videos. I am going to make a horror movie to show you how this camera does in low light. Uh, the quality is going to be a little worse than it should, you know, because when I put it on YouTube, the quality uh, takes a hit. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I'm coming with tons of cool videos. And, uh, yeah, check it out. I'm out. Corvo Bell Videos.